So life is a series of sales situations. And may I challenge you that it is not your customer or prospect's job to remember you. It's your obligation and responsibility to make sure they don't have the chance to forget you. Because if life is a series of sales situations, the real sale comes after the sale. Now, this is why service departments in any business, all customer service and follow-up are important. And I, I challenge you and suggested that you do, in fact, <coughs> you do, in fact, call and leave a voicemail for stories that you want. Not a bad idea to call clients that you haven't heard from or that really that for whatever reason, you might just call and say, again, leave a voicemail. And you want to be, what, the most interesting voicemail in the morning. Because they come in, problem, problem, problem. Oh, a happy voice from Patricia. Problem, problem. Oh, good, I think I'll call Patricia first. But your message is, hi, John. This is Patricia. No need to call. I just wanted you to know. I'm looking at the, the book that you gave me still on my bookcase or just some remembrance or I, I remember what a great convention you had or I remember how happy your wife was. I'm, I'm glad your team loved or just finding out. Is it time to replace? So if it's a message that requires a reply, let them know. But if it isn't, no need to call me. But if you would like to, this is my number and I'll be in every afternoon next week. It's just a way to be remembered. And with social media and our various communication ways, it's very easy to keep in front of your past clients. So it's not a chance. Without consistency, there is no true quality, which is why that I recommend you do have role planes and drilling in your own meetings. So one, you might be at the top of your game. I still challenge you to revisit you focus language, focused on them. Structure your presentation. The skeleton under the flesh of your words is their challenges, problems, opportunities, or interests. You want to take your happy, satisfied clients with you? Tell a good story with characters and dialogue and their backstory. They have to be true. They cannot be 100% accurate because you're giving a two-minute version of what might have been a three-month conversation. And if they were here, what would they say? And look at what you say. Is it tight? Is it precise? Is it specific? Give your spouse permission to tell you if you use a naughty word because your spouse... He or she is not going to criticize you if you do not give them permission. Let them know it's because I want to improve and make more sales. And rehearse. My brother, Robert Fripp, is an incredible guitarist. According to Rolling Stone magazine, he is the 42nd best guitarist in the history of the world, living or dead. He played on David Bowie's Heroes, and he has a group called King Crimson. This is their 50th anniversary. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Well, watch King Crimson 2019. They will be coming close by. Nashville, good. We already have fans. They'll be in Nashville and I believe Atlanta. And one day I call my brother as I do every day, as I will, when Don and I are driving home. I said, brother, what are you doing? He said, well, I'm practicing my guitar while I'm watching a Steven Seagal movie. And I said, well, you probably can't be play paying attention to both. 
And he said, what I am doing is building a muscle memory into my hands. Because those of you who are familiar with brothers playing, he plays very, very fast. You, can't, you, you can hard, and, and he does it effortlessly because of his personal discipline. And what I would challenge you is take these ideas that work for your presentations and rehearse to build a muscle memory. I built my career, as Don did in the early days, as a keynote speaker. And what I have found, which has developed my business, was listening to my clients, same as it will be for you. And one day at a national sales meeting, the sales manager came up and said, Patricia, I, I liked your speech, but I loved how you delivered it. Can you teach our salespeople to speak that way? Because it takes us one year to have a one-hour conversation with a hospital board. It's worth $9 million a year if we get the business. And we are losing sales. It has absolutely nothing to do with our offering. It has our price. We keep hearing back that the sales presentation skills of our competitors are better than ours. And little did I know with that request, she had just given me the answer to always be in demand no matter what the economy is doing. And I would challenge you, if this made sense, make it part of your life. And I will close by saying habits are like railway tracks. They take a long time to get into place, but once they're there, they will take you anywhere you want to go. That is very true with your sales conversations and presentations. I hope you will remember me, but much more important than remembering me, FRIP, remember what FRIP stands for. Frequently reinforce ideas that are productive and profitable. Thank you. Well. Patricia Fripp. <laughs> Terrific, Patricia.